Sir, my name is Alexander Osei from Ghana. Basically, today we are going to learn types of savings, right? In our previous lesson, we ended with the savings curve, right? Good. So we are going to start with the types of savings. Now, types of savings. The first type of saving is private savings. If you talk about private savings, you are talking about the saving of the household or the firms, right? Good. And we are saying that it's disposable income minus consumption. Private savings is called disposable income minus consumption. But disposable income, now, you see, from our previous lesson, we got to know that disposable income is either consumed or saved. So if you want savings, it's just a matter of change of subject. S equal to Y, D minus C. Matter of change of subjects. Right, good. So, disposable income, we have discussed it earlier. And consumption also, we also know that one. Government savings, is the savings of the government. Right, good. So the savings of the government, you are saying that the only revenue, look at here. Over here is revenue minus expenditure. So if you want to know the savings is revenue minus expenditure. Consumption is an expenditure item. Now, government savings, that one also is supposed to be revenue minus expenditure. The only revenue to the government or the number one revenue to the government is tax. According to income tax law in Ghana, income tax law at 2015 at 896, one of the income of the government or the major income of the government is tax. So the tax, it is T, capital T, whether it is direct tax or lump sum tax. And it is small T, whether it is indirect tax or proportional tax. So tax is a revenue minus government spending, it is an expenditure item. Minus transfer payments, don't be confused. Transfer payments is also part of the government spending. Perhaps if it is in the question, you capture it here, right? Good. Now external savings, if you are talking about external savings, you are talking about the savings that you save in the rest of the way. Considering imports, when we import, it means that we are giving money to the outside world, right? Good. So we are saying that import minus export will give you the external savings or the rest of the world savings. I have put a mark here signifying that this type of savings, we only calculate them whereby import and export is in the question. We calculate for external savings, listen to me careful, whereby import and export are in the question. It means that the economy is open. The economy is open. That means international trade is part. Good. So it's import minus export. That's how it is. Now the national savings is equal to the aggregate or the summation of all the savings. When you put all of them together, you're going to get the national savings. Trust me, I've told you that we calculate for external savings whereby the economy is open. So if the economy is open, whereby there's import and export, you calculate for external savings. That one, you add external savings to the national savings. But if the economy is closed, of which you don't calculate for the external savings, it means that over here, you're not going to add external savings. The national savings is going to be private savings and the government savings, right? Good. Now it is, however, very important to know that in the computation of the savings, one way or the other, you, you might get negative figures, right? Good. When you get negative savings, you are not wrong. It means the savings. It means that they are not savings, but they are rather borrowing. I hope it makes sense. Now the national savings, if you want to know, hey, if you want to know that what you have done is correct, the answer that you get for the national savings must it must be equal to the investment figure in the question the answer you get for the national savings must be equal to the investment value in the question oh it makes sense trust me the concept is because of the two sector economy what we achieve that savings is equal to investment the two sector economy injection package so that is the end of the types of savings lesson. Sha! Once again, my name is Alexander Osei and I'm from Ghana. Bye bye!